We all know the technique for individual peace, transcendental meditation, and individual peace is the basis for world peace. Inside we feel more relaxed and tolerant. Peace is growing in the individual. Let's see what happens in our mind during transcendental meditation. Here we see the prefrontal cortex and amygdala. The prefrontal cortex is becoming more active. It is the control panel for higher functioning. At the same time, the amygdala is becoming less active. It is the fear center which governs the fight or flight response. In the peace of transcending, higher judgment begins to predominate over stress reactions. So, meditators develop a more balanced brain functioning. They show less stress and higher moral behavior. Mind and body become peaceful. This is seen as increased EEG coherence in the brain during TM. Over all frequencies and all brain areas, this means that every part of the brain is working together with every other part in the most orderly manner. We all know this experience as pure consciousness. It is an experience of a deep inner peace. This is the formula for creating peace on an individual level. But does it imply that everybody has to meditate if we want peace on a larger scale? A single brain in harmony is the unit of a peaceful society and a peaceful world. For the forest to be green, all the trees must be green. This seems logical, but how can we teach 7 billion people to meditate? In 1975, scientists discovered something remarkable. When just 1% of a population learns TM, negative trends decrease and positive trends increase. The statistics were unmistakable. Crime, sickness and accident rates went down. The economy, stock market and number of patents applied for increased. And the beauty is that you don't need the whole population to meditate. Just 1% creates that effect which scientists call the Maharishi effect. It's because Maharishi predicted it long before it was verified by science. The 1% effect is also found in nature. For example, an iron bar becomes magnetized when only 1% of the iron molecules are oriented in an orderly way. So with 1% of the population meditating, we can create a peaceful society. In addition, we also create a perfect system of protection against all sorts of negative influences. To understand this, we can look at a phenomenon that physicists call the Meissner effect. In an ordinary system, there is a lot of entropy, disorder and resistance. But a system with maximum coherence becomes a superconductor. The perfect orderliness within the superconductor prevents any disorder from penetrating it. Simultaneously, it creates a protecting field around it, so no disorder from the outside can disturb the flow of the system. The system becomes invincible. This is the Meissner effect. In terms of people and countries, when 1% of the population meditates, the country becomes invincible. It no longer allows any negative influence from inside or outside. By using this technology, every nation can create an ideal defense system and generate a continuous influence of peace towards its neighbors. At last, we have a scientifically proven formula to create peace in society. Let's take a country, for example Belgium, with a population of 10 million people. We need 100,000 TM practitioners to create peace. So there's still a long way to go. But in 1976, Maharishi introduced the TM City program and that changed everything. The power of harmony multiplied exponentially. With the TM City program, 
the square root of 1% of a population is enough to create the same effect if they are gathered in one place. So, a group of 317 siddhas in one place has the same effect as a hundred thousand meditators. In the physics of sound, this effect is known as constructive interference. When three sound waves with an identical frequency are combined, the power or intensity increases logarithmically. The resulting wave is nine times more powerful. This extended Maharshi effect at last gives us a practical solution for world peace. We only need the square root of 1% of the world's population, which works out to be just 9,000 peace experts. World peace can be a permanent reality. Research has proven that this technology works. Over 50 studies have demonstrated its effectiveness to an exceptionally high level of reliability. Let's examine one strong case. Washington DC in 1993, a few thousand siddhas gathered to demonstrate the power of peace and crime was reduced by 23%. You can actually train a group in a very powerful stress-reducing technology of TM, pretty easily, of course. And you can do that, for example, in the middle of Lebanon during the peak of the Lebanon War. It only took several hundred to start to notice an effect. But scientifically, you create the group, you remove the group. You create the group, you remove the group. You have them there for two days, they're, missed, they're gone for three. You have them back, and you watch the level of war fighting, war deaths, war injuries, rise and fall in very strong correlation to the number of people who are creating peace and dissolving stress in the collective consciousness. When you've published 40 or 50 studies like that, you end up building up evidence that is really beyond irrefutable. There's never been an approach that has been studied as carefully and has been demonstrated to be so powerful. The effects can actually be felt very, very soon. Even better, modern science can explain the underlying mechanics. But even in ancient times, this knowledge was available. Mahashi Patanjali states in the Yoga Sutras, In the vicinity of yoga, hostile tendencies are eliminated. So how do we bring together a group of 9,000 for world peace? Maharishi created a group of Vedic Pandits and a beautiful campus in the center point of India to accomplish this ultimate goal. A Vedic Pandit? Veda, Vedic, means knowledge, the total knowledge of natural law, and Pandit means an expert. Maharishi created this group in India. Why India? India has two great practical values. First, the Pandits actually come from there. Second, it's so much more cost-effective than doing it at most other places around the world. What does a Vedic Pandit do? The Vedic Pandits have two specialties every day. Yog, which means meditation, and Yajna. What is Yajna? Yajna is action for evolution. And in this case, it's action, specifically Vedic performances or recitations, which are done for the welfare of the whole world, for the peace, prosperity, harmony. They recite specific Vedic expressions from that silent field, the unified field of all the laws of nature. And those sounds which they're reciting are those fundamental organizing sounds of nature itself to create that powerful positive influence for the world. If it is traditional, why do we already not have world peace? Because we've stopped taking advantage of this fabulous technology. If we enliven it again, we're going to have peace for the world. So can we do a specific yajna for world peace? We have to do specific yajnas for world peace. We're doing one now, Ati Ruja Bishek, 1,331 Maharshi Vedic Pandits at the Brahmastan or center point of India. And what we want to do, we want to have three times that group every day doing this Ati Ruja Bishek. What is the ultimate goal? Really what we want to do is have the effect world needs it, we can do it, which is peace, 
harmony for the world. To do that, our goal in terms of pundit numbers, we want to have now 9,000 Vedic pundits at the Brahmastan of India. Thank you, Dr. Kaplan. Thank you. Yogic flying and yagyas are the only thing that will effectively uphold world consciousness on an eternal level of invincibility. I want to engage from now on as large number of Vedic pundits as possible. But I have to be careful that once I engage them, the funds will be there to continue to support them. Mahashi You can imagine that supporting a group of 9,000 pundits will cost a lot of money. But that is still half the cost of a B-2 bomber, which until now has proven unsuccessful at creating peace. To give you an idea of the costs, supporting one pundit costs $250 a month, including housing. Compare this with someone in Europe, it will be 10 times higher. At present, Thousands of donors are supporting this dear project. Every month they contribute whatever amount of money is comfortable in their budget. All those small gifts together enable us to support a few thousand pundits. But we need 9,000 for a more powerful effect. So your contribution would be welcome and would bring us closer to our goal. D. The fact was just so powerful and so immediate on me and I felt so many changes in my personal life that I decided to be a regular donor. I think that this is a, an investment for me, a very good one. But then unexpected benefits occurred. I'm luckily a person that anyway enjoys quite some support of nature, but this has increased in a tremendous way, which I did not expect. To me, giving is an important part of receiving, and there's really no better way for me, or I think for anyone else for that matter, to give than to the pundits. Another large amount came to us during the year after we gave, so we decided to continue on a permanent monthly basis. But once I started donating for, the, for this project, I had a great support of nature, and my dream was just to be working for peace for the world. And actually, this dream became true, and I'm just working for peace. Well, for me, the Global Peace Initiative is creating peace for every individual on Earth through peace. And that is something I can trust, because it's the most direct way to live permanently in a happy world. I can feel a huge amount of bliss and peace being created by the pundits. So I believe if we have a lot more pundits, we can create peace throughout the land, and the world will become a better place. Now we live in a country, I'm from South Africa, which can be very smooth and very rough. But the rough things, they only happen when we're not having national yagyas. You can see it. If it can actually create world peace, then donating to that is greater than anything else you could donate to. I always get a great sense of satisfaction in the knowledge that my small contribution is making a big difference in the world, and there's nothing greater than that. This is the overall experience of most of the sponsors. It gives a real boost to their personal evolution. So try it yourself. Start with an amount that seems comfortable to you and see what happens. But one thing, please do it on a monthly basis. This creates stability for probably one of the most important projects of mankind. And it brings you lasting blessings of all the laws of nature.